What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the New Balance 2002R in the White and Lagoon colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. So Hefalux is my favorite go-to sneaker insoles, and they sell eTPU insoles, which essentially is the same material as Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort for your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which is linked down below, and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So depending on the type of density and cushioning setup you're looking for, there's basically an insole for everybody. So be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this pair I recently picked up from Livestock, and they retailed for a price of 170 Canadian dollars or 130 USD. The official colorway for this shoe is White and Lagoon, and the style code for this shoe is ML2002RLA. If you've been following New Balance at all in the past year or two, you know that the 2002R has quickly become one of the most popular silhouettes. And it makes sense that the silhouette itself has a bit of a dad shoe vibe, that they throw on a very dad shoe looking colorway on the model. So diving into the details, on the toe box, you can see here that the base layer of this shoe, this is constructed out of this wide open mesh material. We have this hit of reflective 3M at the base of the toe box, and then stitched on either side, we have this dark blue colored nubuck. Wrapping around the front toe cap, we have this smooth white leather, and it almost looks like an exclamation mark is printed on the lateral side in grey. Moving downwards, covering the midfoot area of this shoe, we have this almost iridescent or pearl-like finished leather. And then stitched on top of this, we have the New Balance N logo, which is done in this clear plastic with this outline of dark blue. The middle eyelet is done in this blue finish, and the top two eyelets are constructed out of this yellow-colored TPU. Underneath this, we have more of that white-colored mesh, and then moving downwards, we have another hit of blue-colored Nubuck with 2002R branding stamped on. The medial side of the shoe is a little bit different from the lateral side, so there's no New Balance logo on this side. And running down the middle, we have this strip of yellow-colored mesh. Surrounding the bottom of the back heel, we have this white leather which has this perforated finish on the bottom. And in the middle, we have this blue, yellow, and white-colored New Balance branding. And we have another hit of reflective material at the very top. For the laces, so these only come with one pair of laces, and they are just your standard flat-style white lace. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box, but the top is covered in this blue-colored nubuck with this white leather on the top, and we have this circular cutout in the middle with New Balance running branding. For the insoles, these come with a pretty well-padded foam insole, and we have New Balance running branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this midsole, which is constructed out of New Balance Absorb foam technology. So this is predominantly left in white. We have this hit of burnt orange colored foam on the forefoot, along with this gray hit in the middle. And then the back heel is painted in this orangey yellow finish. And this is where you'll find New Balance's energy technology, which are these gel-like pillars you see on the heel, sort of like a very short Nike shocks. And this definitely helps with the impact protection of this shoe. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of this black and blue colored rubber. We have these flex screws on the forefoot, which gives you added flexibility. And then in the middle, this yellow hit, this is New Balance's stability web technology, and this helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these 2002 R's. And for those wondering how these fit, to me, these fit me true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I wear between a nine and a half, which is a half size down, or size 10, which is true to size in most of my New Balance shoes. But the 2002 R, I feel it definitely fits true to size. So to give you guys a point of comparison, so I wear these in a size 10. I also wear New Balance 997, 1500, and 1530 also in a size 10. But in comparison, I go a half size down in other New Balance silhouettes like the 992, the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 550, and the 998. Moving on to comfort, so this is definitely one of the strongest points about this silhouette. The 2002R, in my opinion, is one of the most comfortable New Balances out there. To me, it gives me that perfect balance between plushness, softness, and stability and support. And it's a shoe that feels very comfortable on feet, but it's not overly mushy and overly soft that I'm gonna feel fatigue and pain in the arches of my feet, which happens sometimes with shoes that just have way too much cushioning and are way too soft. To add to that, the mesh upper makes this pair really breathable and lightweight too. So while this isn't necessarily a shoe I'd wanna wear in really cold weather or really muddy or wet weather, in my opinion, this makes a great spring, summer, and early fall shoe. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship on this pair, so this is a Made in Asia pair, but to be honest, a lot of Made in Asia New Balances lately have been actually very high quality. However, this is the part of the shoe that I wasn't totally happy with. I felt like the material quality wasn't the best. A lot of the material used had a bit of a synthetic feel to it, 
and it felt noticeably cheaper in hand compared to some of the other 2002R releases like for example the Refined Future or Protection Pack Pair. And in terms of the craftsmanship on this shoe, I don't know if I just got unlucky, but there were some issues. I had some loose threads I had to trim off myself, some glue stains on the midsole, and the paint job also wasn't the best. So that definitely and unfortunately dampened my opinion on this pair. With all that out of the way now, let's lace up these New Balance 2002 R's and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. From a visual and appearance standpoint, I'm definitely feeling this colorway. I know it's not going to be for everyone, it's a very classic and almost stereotypical dad shoe look to it, and that's part of the reason why I like it. It's almost as if it's embracing what this shoe was originally meant to be, and I love how it's embracing that early 2000s colorway. However, like I mentioned earlier, the quality of materials and the craftsmanship on this pair, it was a little bit disappointing, but I feel like if you can grab these on sale or on a discount, it would be a definite no-brainer pickup. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this White and Lagoon New Balance 2002 R. What are your overall thoughts on the colorway and how do you feel about the 2002 R silhouette in general? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can also follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. You can also check out my podcast called The Channel 8 Podcast. So the video version I upload right here onto my YouTube channel if you want to watch it, but if you want to just stream the audio only version, you can check it out on most of your major podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued love and support. Truly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video.